All right, welcome back to another video on Waveform 12. In this video, I'm going to talk about step clips and specifically the new features of step clips that have been introduced with Waveform version 12. For a more comprehensive tutorial on how to use step clips in general, check out the one for 11.5. Look, look for Waveform 11.5. I will put a link to the YouTube video for that that I did Oh, about six months ago. And in this video, I'm going to show you what's new. Step clips keep improving in every version of waveform. Let's just explain a little bit as a reminder what step clips are. Step clips are a type of inline step sequencer that allow you to use basically a step grid, as you see here on the screen, and basically wherever you want a note or a drum hit, you just basically turn or toggle these steps on and off. So I'll play back a little bit and show you what I mean. So what I did there is I turned off the hit on the hi-hat here and changed that to an open hi-hat. In this case, we have 16 steps per bar, which is the most common setup, but you can really have any resolution of steps per bar that you would like. But to get started here, I'm going to click the header, just hit delete and take that step clip out. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put a step clip in. So we'll put a step clip at bar two. I'll just right click here and do insert new step clip. And you'll see that it's got all of these instruments. It will pick up the names of the different drums if you use one of the traction built-in instruments like this. Otherwise, they'll have more generic general MIDI names. Now, once you've done that, you can see that you can now start programming. So we'll go and put in some kicks just randomly here. I have a delay on there. I'll right-click on the delay and disable that. Let's start looking at new features. What I'm gonna do is just put hits in of the drum sounds that I wanna use. So I wanna use a closed hi-hat, a clap, uh, maybe a side stick, open hi-hat, and a snare. We'll skip all the other sounds. Those are the ones I wanna to use to build out my pattern. So here's a new feature. There's a little view menu here. If I click view, it says show all notes, notes in key, notes in use or show named notes. Those are notes that actually have channel names like you see here. I'm gonna select notes in use. And that is what's called a fold. It basically shows only the rows of the notes that are in use, which is just super handy. So now that I've got it set up this way, I can start programming in anything that I want. I'll put like a, some claps in here on my closed hi-hat. I'll use note on every two steps for the side stick. Maybe I don't need the side stick. If I turn this off, then it will clear that row. If I ever wanna see them all again, I just do view all notes. But this is what's called a fold. We'll show only the notes, show only notes in use like this. So that's the first very useful thing that is new. The other thing that's new is that we can rearrange the rows. So if I go on the kick, I can just drag it anywhere I'd like. So I'll do kick, we'll do snare, and we'll just build it up. And then we've got closed and open hi-hats. So if this is the way I wanna see it, then that's all I need to do. Now I'm free to program this any way I want. I'll go back here, hit A, which sets the in and out markers over my bar. I'll turn looped playback back on. So let's try to improve this a little bit. I'm gonna turn these off and we'll do something like this.
Okay, so that's a little bit generic. Now we've always had a velocity editor. So if I open this, you'll see that I've got these bars that I can do to program in the velocity. So we'll click on a row for the, let's do a row for the closed hi-hat. And let's just de-emphasize some of these by reducing the velocity a little bit. Then on the kick pattern, let's do this, but let's just take these velocities down a little bit. So I clicked on the row with the kick, and now I'm just adjusting the velocities to give it a little more feel. Now we can add even more feel and variation to this using another new feature, which is the probability. So if I click this, then these bars represent the probability. With the probability all the way up, that means every pass through this pattern, it will play that note. The lower you make that, the more the odds are that it will not play. So let's go back on the kick part here and let's play it like this. But let's just say that I kind of want this one most of the time, but these, maybe I want them some of the time. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll do a little pickup to this one, maybe half the time. There, you can see that that pass, it skipped it. And we can do even more of that for more probability. Now let's do that on the hi-hat. We're gonna put in some additional hi-hats in between these others. We'll go to the velocity and we'll make those weaker hits on these alternate ones. We want them to play sometimes, uh, but we don't want them to be super strong. So by varying the velocity, it's already got a little bit more of a feel to it. But if we vary the probability, we can take these quite low in probability. Or actually, let's do the probability more on the alternate ones. So I'm on the closed hi-hat. And we'll just make it where we should get a lot of variation for every time it goes around. All right, so on the alternate notes, I'm gonna push the probability up so we get a more consistent pattern, but we'll fill in in between those notes with some probability. So that's how the probability works. Very easy to use and it allows you to breathe a lot of life into your track. So I'm gonna go back to the top here and just show you another new feature. This is not specifically a new feature for step clips. It's just a new feature for Waveform 12 and that's a dedicated actions panel that works like an inspector. We could always do this from the browser where you go to actions like this and then you can do things you know, related to whatever you clicked on. But say you have this on the search tab and you might want to always have that actions inspector open. You can now go up to the eye over on the left and then call up a dedicated actions panel. So it's the same thing as this, as you can see, they look the same, but it's separated out so you can have two of these open on screen at the same time. So with that, I'll hit B which is the default shortcut to open and close 
the browser, I have set up Shift B, but you can look this up in the Actions panel shortcuts. It's not assigned to a keyboard shortcut by default, but I assign it to Shift B so I can open this up and take a look at it. The reason I open that up is because I want to put a little bit of swing on this. This is not new, but this was new, I think, at version 11.5. Just click on the header and then for a step clip and then choose Apply Common Groove. We've got a 16th note sequence here, so I'll choose Basic 16th Note Swing and then we'll dial up a little bit of the swing so we've got a little bit more of a groovy feel to it. So it, you can tell that you're getting more variation. If you loop this out now, we can use one bar Let's go out to four bars and loop this. And it will keep changing as you play it based on just a single pattern. So rather than having to manually put in these bars, we'll get variation just by using the probability feature. So we'll turn that off. I'll play back a little bit. So I think that's really cool. Without even having to create a whole bunch of different variations on the pattern, you can have a pattern that's kind of evolving. Now, another thing that I've added to this is the new delay plugin. I did a separate video on this. So over on the delay, I'm going to enable that delay and just show you that I've chosen the Beat Synced Stereo Echo. And this is yet another thing that you can do with a drum pattern to impart some kind of cool rhythmic quality to it. So just a lot of fun. Now taking the step clip workflow to the next level, I'm going to duplicate this clip and then convert it to MIDI just to show you a couple of other things that have changed. So I select the clip, hit D, that duplicates it. At the top, right click and do convert to MIDI. So you can see that now that's converted it to a MIDI clip. It's the same thing, but it's just in MIDI format. So I'm going to select the two of these to select like that, I'm holding down Option, or which would be Alt on a PC and press A. And that sets the in and out points over these two. Should sound the same. But now if I double click on this MIDI clip, you'll see it opens in the MIDI editor. There's a couple new features in the MIDI editor that I want to show you that are important for working with drum beats. I'm going to choose the arrow tool and just let's pick up a hi-hat and then we're going to subdivide the hi-hat. So this is an easy way to create the hi-hat rolls that are really common in pop music today. Right click and do split note and you can split it into a triplet, a quintuplet, a septuplet. Let's split to a triplet. So that's a really easy way to subdivide those hi-hats. The next thing that's new along these lines is there's a new knife tool. So you'll look at this tool here and it allows you to cut notes basically to, by just clicking on them. So you can create some subdivisions of notes any way you want using that knife tool much easier than the workflow we had before. Probably not the best use of that. Let's take that out and do this on, on the hats here. So 
So it makes that type of editing significantly easier than it was before. One more really subtle but nice improvement in waveform is the ability to resize clips using an edge handle. Before you'd always resize a clip by grabbing this triangle, and that still works of course. But now, if you hover near the edge, you get this little resizing bracket. So that bracket allows you to grab that edge from anywhere along the edge rather than having to go for that triangle. One reason why that's helpful is that if the clip is shrunk down really small, the triangle handle for that gets really small too, to the point where it disappears. But you could still go in here, get this bracket, and now you can resize your clip easily without any problem. So that gives you an idea of how step clips work with some of the other new features in Waveform, and also the new features of step clips in Waveform 12. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.